Sometimes it's really hard to spot enemies in PUBG. If you see an improvement between this and that, then stay tuned. What I'm going to show you can also be useful for colorblinds or tryhards. I'm not here to waste your time, so I'll keep this brief. Three things. What do you need? How to do it? And some more examples, how it can look and how to fine tune your settings. Actually, one more thing. I hope you find this guide helpful and if you do so, then please click on like and consider to subscribe to my channel. I'm posting a video every Sunday. Thanks. Anyway, let's go. What do you need? If you have an NVIDIA graphics card that is at least somewhat up to date, then you should be good to go. You need to have NVIDIA GeForce Experience installed. The in-game overlay has to be enabled. To check or enable it, right click on the NVIDIA symbol in the tray. Click on NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Click on the settings symbol and enable in-game overlay. By the way, your graphics driver version is shown up here on the right. How to do it? When you're in the game, just press Alt F3. A menu pops up. You can define three presets here. You could use that for different settings, for different maps. Click on one of these numbers and then add filter, choose details. I use this as a base. Sharpen 16%, clarity 41%, HDR 29% and 0% bloom. I also added colorblind because I have a slight deuteranopia. I still have the game option for that enabled as well. So this might be optional for you. I'm showing the other colorblind settings with some comparisons later in the video. I personally don't like to put that on 100% because it looks kind of bad. You can also add the brightness contrast filter to put everything at about 0%, except shadows. Put shadows to a low negative value like minus 20% to make shadows just a bit brighter. Don't crank up these values too high because your game could look pretty ugly very fast. If you want to start playing again, just press escape on your keyboard or click that little X. If you want to disable the filters, just press Alt F3 again and click on off. Please note, depending on your filter settings and your system, you will lose some FPS by using this. So you're essentially trading slightly better visibility against slightly worse FPS. Decide for yourself. From my testing, it also heavily depends on the map and situation. For example, on Sanok I had about 5 FPS less with the filters enabled. On the training map, for some reason, I had almost 30 FPS less. Weird. More examples. There are some more really weird but kind of funny filters, but I think we'll skip the details about that. What? Here are some more colorblind settings and comparisons. First thing. This is how it normal looks. No in-game colorblind settings, no NVIDIA filters. This is how it looks with Deuteranopia enabled. Then we add NVIDIA Deuteranopia filters. Now some in-game Protanopia enabled. When you increase the NVIDIA colorblind filter for Protanopia, the drop smoke gets almost invisible at the edges. Whoa. Lastly, Tritonopia, with the in-game settings enabled and the NVIDIA filter. Whoa. So, that was the basic overview about the filters called NVIDIA Freestyle. 
Now to the obvious question, is this cheating? And the obvious answer, no, it's not cheating. Nvidia works closely with the game developers like PUBG Corp and they wouldn't include cheats in their driver. It's listed at the Nvidia website for supported games for Nvidia Freestyle, so I think it's legit to use. Okay, thanks for watching, take care, click on like, subscribe, watch my other videos, bye.